little ass bitch, give a fuck about a nigga. Big Birkin bag, hoe, five, six figures. Stripes on my ass, so he call it pussy tigger. Normally I'm quick to switch up my playlist. Hey y'all, so I think this lighting is bad, but I'm at the park. Welcome back. This is gonna be like a week in my life. Right now, I got me a acai bowl from um, Nectar. So I'm about to eat my bowl. It got like pineapples, strawberries, blueberries, and then like the granola, and then the mango, cause this is a mango acai bowl. And I also got my planner. I had this planner since 2019 of my freshman year of um, college. So I used to use this to like write down my um, assignment due dates. But I didn't feel like bringing my big planner. So I'm going to um, use this planner to write down like future ideas. Like the rest of this month ideas for YouTube. And then next month. And then I got my journal that I'm going to be using. I, I need to start doing this daily. I'll be skipping so many days with journaling. But I got this for my birthday. Which was like a month ago because we're on well yesterday was a month ago that my birthday had passed but yeah i only wrote like on two pages of my journal so yeah i need to start doing that more but we at the park i want to show y'all how it look before i start eating my acai bowl Too sexy for this chain, too sexy for your game, too sexy for this fame, yeah, yeah I don't know how this lighting is looking. I feel like it's not giving. But I definitely wanted to come here because I feel like it's like very pretty out here. It's very hot today too. It's a little bit of wind going on. But y'all know today is daylight savings day. Like literally today is March 12th and it's 2.07 p.m. So yeah, this is going to be a week in my life. I'm starting which is today on a Sunday, March 12th. And then I'm going to end next Sunday, I believe, which is like the 19th or the 20th or something like that. I don't remember. I think it's the 19th, but yeah, this is gonna be a week in my life. But I'm about to start eating my acai bowl because, yeah, I don't know about this lighting, y'all. I'm so nervous. It's like, where can I put the camera? I think because I'm in the shade. I like to mix my food. And yes, I, and yes, I be eating the whole thing. I like to get like some granola on top and like just mix it. I should probably take a picture. But this is how my bowl looks. Yeah, I'm gonna take a picture of it. You know that. It's like right now I'm on spring break. My spring break started um on Thursday after 4:45 when I had left class, but I don't go back until March 21st, which is a Tuesday. So I'm pretty excited, and I feel like after spring break, time gonna start going by extra fast. Cause I graduate next month, which is April, and I graduate April the 28th. So I feel like after this spring break, time just gonna start flying by. Cause like literally when I get back to school, it's gonna only be one more week left of March, and then we gonna be in April. I'm like super excited because I'm ready to graduate. Uh, March the 19th I put post a week in my life it's not gonna be post on March the 19th that's when I'm actually gonna end the video it's probably not gonna be posted to like the last week of March but yeah I wrote for March the 19th to try it so I really don't got a lot of plans but I think this is good for now because today's the 12th and then the week in my life is supposed to end on the 19th which is the following Sunday coming up so yeah 6 of March so you yeah, already did what I needed to do in my planner for the rest of the week of my life I did not mean to cross this out I was thinking I, this was back in February but it's actually this week of March so yeah so now I'm about to move on to my journaling I'm about to do this y'all so I'm not gonna be talking so yes it is gonna be some music over this I'm about to do my journaling and then after that it's 2 46 I'm gonna leave and I'm gonna head to Trader Joe's and then after that I'm gonna just go back in the house and chill cuz I start working again tomorrow so yeah we just gonna journal and that's what it is we gonna journal and right now it's 2 47 
feel like the purpose of journaling is just to like let things go like rejuvenate clear your mind and just think about like the good things in life and not focus like more so on like the negativity but like just think of the good things just be thankful for the like being alive being able to like witness nature just see a beautiful day like just continue to live your life and live it with abundance and prosperity like you're living a very very good life but i journaled um to get stuff off my chest but yeah y'all i'm about to head out it is 251 and i wrote really fast because i swear i started at 247 but yeah i'm about to head out i'm about to go to trader joe's because i need flowers because i don't want to risk going to walmart again and the flowers are still dead or they didn't restock on the flowers but i'm about to go to walmart my nails are super cute my nail tech cut me up so bad like my freaking cuticles are burning like every time i put hot water on like wash my hair with hot water or take a shower like my hands are burning because my cuticles were cut bad like four of my fingers were cut bad but the nails is giving very much summer vibes summer spring i think it's more so giving like summer even though we about to be in spring but i feel like it's giving summer but it's still big spring in the car i got my flowers out of trader joe's a little boy but it's okay i'll be so glad when i get my hair done next month but welcome back it is march the 13th monday it's like 4 30 but we're going on a little walk we're taking our dog to the park so that's what we about to do but yeah I look like a little boy I decided to come on a walk because it's like super cute out here. So we doing a little walk, whatever. I'm quite nervous because me and my sister used to do this walk together, but she's working. So I want to take a walk. It's like very peaceful. Let me clear my mind. But I'm taking a walk because I have not did a walk in like a long time. Okay, what's your girl? Y'all, I'm hot. I put this outfit on. Like literally I have a jacket on with some sweatpants because it's windy out here, but I'm hot. So yeah. We just walk in. I already prayed and asked God to protect me and my safety while I walk alone and get back home. But yeah. It's like super duper hot. Hey y'all, so I'm back from my walk. My hair look a while. I took my little braids out that I had in my hair. So I'm finna wash my hair. I think I missed a braid. Oh no, it's just curly. My hair is so curly, like it's growing back, y'all. Like look how long my hair is. It's growing back. Growing back. You know the vibe. But yeah, I'm about to wash my hair because it's that time it keeps itching. Then I'ma oil my scalp and put like my treatment in there. I'm going to wash these clothes because it's about time for me to wash clothes. Later, I'm going to end the video off like with me washing clothes and stuff like that. But yeah, y'all, I always had thin edges because our mother had thin edges. So I'm trying to work on like getting my edges back. I, I don't even, I haven't had my hair done since like October or September of last year. But it's like a work in progress. Like, I'm working on it. It's like a work in progress to get my edges back. But I'm finna go um, wash my hair. And I'm going to show y'all, like, me washing my hair. And I use Cantu shampoo and conditioner. But comment down below, like, what's the best, like, hair washing product for natural hair? Because I've been natural for 
like probably like eight nine plus years now but comment like the best like my hair is so curly and it's like really really curly when it's wet so we about to go wash my hair it's like very oily right now because i forgot earlier when i woke up this morning i put oil on my hair i didn't plan on washing my hair today but we finna go do it we finna go wash my hair all right, y'all, let me show y'all what I use. And I use, like, my hair scrubber things so, like, you can scrub your scalp. I'm going to show y'all all that. I'm about to go wash my hair and take y'all in there. I use can too. This is the conditioner and the shampoo. Then I use, like, this hair scrubber so, like, you can just go in circles, like, in motion and scrub your hair. And then I'll be combing my hair out with this comb. But I'm going to start washing my hair. But you know the vibes. The nails is giving, honey. You know the vibes. And it's so different because I never had matte nails before and we did matte instead of went for, instead of going for the glossy look we did matte and I'ma say the matte is eating. Rooms for the tacos. Then I had to get a whole one because they didn't have no more sliced one, so I have to slice these. Some mango. Flour tortilla. Olipop drink. I'm gonna be getting mozzarella. Oh, y'all know I gotta have my Starbucks. But I'm gonna come back when I cook tonight. Hey, y'all. So I'm back. You can't even see me, bro. Hey, y'all. I'm back. So I'm gonna be making um some tacos. Chicken carne asada tacos the vegan way because I'm vegan. But I got all my ingredients right here. So we're gonna be using olive oil. We're gonna be using some parsley. We're gonna be using some ground cumin. We're gonna be using chipotle chili peppers, black pepper, season all-purpose seasoning salt, garlic cloves orange juice i'm following the recipe online so don't try to bash me because i got orange juice and y'all know i don't like orange juice but this is a part of the recipe soy sauce our portobellum sliced mushrooms avocado and onions and then cilantro but yeah so what i'm gonna do first is like just basically cut up the onions and then i'm gonna cut up the garlics now. i'm not gonna cut that but yeah. My eyes 
because I'm starting to water. And I'm trying not to cut with just one eye open. <laughs> but that's how bad it's getting. It starts to burn instantly. I need to Google that. Like, why onions make your eyes start burning instantly? Like, I'm over here crying, child. Fresh garlic. We finna do that. Finna cut my cut up my whole fresh garlic. <laughs> That's what I usually do to give me like an easier grip. Yeah, I'm gonna wash some of these off and cut it up. So we're gonna put the little stems to the side. Yeah. I'm following the ingredients. So basically it's telling me I need two large portobello mushrooms. I'm just gonna use the sliced ones. I got two large ones in there, but I don't feel like cutting it up since the sliced one already came like cut. So I need that. I need soy sauce, um, chili powder, cumin, orange juice, garlic cloves, olive oil, and then salt. But we have to I'm not cutting up the mushroom because they already cut. So basically, um I need to place them in a Ziploc bag with all the other ingredients in the bag and shake well and then combine and let it marinate for 15 to 30 minutes. So that's what we want like to do. And then a half of it of soy sauce. So one one teaspoon and then I need two tablespoons of orange juice. I have to shake it up. Hold on, y'all. I hate orange juice with a passion. Salt and pepper, y'all. Wait, it looks like this. It's gonna hurt if I put seasoning on there. I'm gonna use garlic powder and then all um seasoned per all seasoning per all purpose seasoning. Sorry. No one there, y'all. Add some more seasoning on it. So we're gonna put our mushrooms in here. Cause I had to make two separate bags. So but yeah. Y'all so I shake both bags up. Ziploc bags, this how they look. So they're supposed to be marinating so i'm about to um clean up like wash these dishes and i'm gonna come back to y'all like when i start cooking it on the stove okay y'all so i'm about to start cooking i'm gonna put some olive oil in the pot Two different bags because the Ziploc bag wasn't big enough, but this is how it look. I'm about to pour them in there. Pour them in the pot. Pour them in the pot. Pour them in the pot. The sauce and it tastes so good. Pop them up just now. While they So good, my mushrooms look good. So they cooking y'all, I'm gonna continue stirring them. I season them, even though the sauce added the seasoning, I actually season them with um, garlic powder and all purpose seasoning, so they smell so good. Like, I'm ready to bust now, and I got my pico de gallo, my uh, vegan mozzarella, my cilantro, and you know what that. Smells so good, like this, this is gonna be so bust. I'm gonna definitely make this again if it turn out good. Add some mushroom and onion seasoning to it. Not too much though. So I did do flour tortilla because I don't like corn tortilla. So yeah, we did flour tortilla. Cause I, I can't stand a corn tortilla. <laughs> Come on with it, pokey poo. This is gonna be so good. This is gonna be so good. I'm excited. This is gonna be so good. But y'all know y'all can make it a non-vegan option way too. But I'm vegan, so I'm not making it a non-vegan option way. What about let me complain? Okay, so I'm gonna start making my tacos. We got the pico. I got hot. I should have got mild. My parsley, my vegan cheese, mm. and then the mushrooms. <laughs> 
Okay, let me make this, y'all. Bon appetit. I can't say that yet until I finish making my taco. It's gonna be chef kisses. So tomorrow, then I'm about to put some, I should put the cheese on it first and then the avocado. Finna be so us. Good, like, bro, you can't tell me I ain't eight. Quit playing with the key. I eight pookie, eight pookie poo. But I really hope y'all enjoyed this video, and I'm gonna see y'all in my next video. Hopefully, this video makes the cut because it gave it pookie poo. But it just hurts so.